All right, guys. We're here at Bank Shots Bar and Grill, getting ready to get started a match against uh, Tony Long versus Clint Clayton. Let me update the scoreboard here. It should be fixed up there. All right. So this is a race to six in eight ball. Clint with a good breakout in the very first rack here. Still a little tight to get to that two ball, but he's definitely got an out. What's happening, Josh? Uh, not much, good sir. And Josh McCauley joining us. <laughs> Didn't expect him to hang that ball. Second match of the day, correct? Uh, I don't know. Just got done watching James Ronis versus James Blackburn. How did that go? James won. Oh. That's where my money was. Aranis 5-3. 5-3? I'm, I'm sorry, 6-3. Okay. I was like, he's so good he decided not to play the last game. Uh, you know, that the, the last score is uh, always a little tricky. Don't tell me you've never forget them. Forgot to mark the last one. I, when I get lucky enough to get there, uh, no, I never mark it. Joe's going back and forth on this table here. Four four on their match. Just hit it just a tad too hard. One 
mistake there, Paul, Paul uh, Clint, that, that game. Chris Jenkins, Sean Wilkie, table three. Chris Jenkins, Sean Wilkie, table three. Have you, uh, what matches have you watched so far? I just got here. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay. I took uh, every liberty I could from being knocked out, and I slept in. There you go. Yeah. Say again. Did Joe end up making that eight ball? Yes. And it's pretty straightforward. Uh, three ball, even though it's blocked in the corner by the eight. The two ball makes that not as big of a deal. Yeah. He'll probably be taking care of that in the next shot. Shoot the two, bunk the three out a little bit, and then th three in this corner. Yep. His definition of a little bit in mine are a little different. Yeah, but when you know you're going to hit it to the right spot, it doesn't really make much difference, does it? Correct. And Clint should be able to capitalize on this. I fully expect him to be out here. Yeah, there's absolutely no problem balls. Except for that one. Uh, any ball you miss is a bomb ball. So my uh, my dark horse of the tournament is still on the winner side. Who'd you say that was? Mark Feither. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Who's he playing now? I think he said he had to play the winner of Strickland and Okolo. Uh, are they they're playing right now? They're going to be they're going to be the next one up on uh, this Okay, field. good. Yeah, he, he had a match earlier. He, he actually beat Clint. So this is a loser side match here. Yes. And who put uh, who put Tony on the loser side? Do you know? Matt Crawl. Oh, you, you, told, you told me that yesterday. Yes. I gotta pay attention. Well, I was looking at the list of matches that I sat here for yesterday. Probably like 13 matches or something. I don't know. Long day. It was, it was a very long day. Today's gonna be even longer. <laughs> Very, very, very strong field still left. Well, you say that like it's not supposed to be a strong field left. Of course the strong field's going to be left, you retard. No, but this is... I mean, you expect some upsets to knock out some really good players, but it doesn't look like it happened. I'm mean, the only upset, I think, was that I'm not still playing on day two. I think there's more of a chance for an upset for a big player to get knocked out in nine ball than eight ball. So I, th I think even with bar box eight ball, everything's so wide open and everybody in here can run out. It's all about who can play the better safes. But if you can get the good spreads, I, I, 
I think e is easier to upset someone. Else. Do you? Yes. Why? You're allowed to get out of position. You're allowed to get out of line. And you have other balls that can get you right back into line. And in 9-ball, in you can win without shooting, though. Or rather, you can win without shooting anything other than the money ball. And in 8-ball, you can do the same thing. If they run down, make the 8 and scratch, you don't have to shoot. Okay. But in 8-ball, you can run all your balls, and I still have to run mine to win. Yes. Which is why I say that, take, that takes the opportunity for a low-level player to upset somebody they shouldn't upset. But the guy really is a high-level player. How many times is he going to run to the eight and miss? If he's really a high level, he's not going to be doing that. Didn't we just see that happen? I wouldn't consider Clint a low-level player. No, he's not He's not on Orcolo's level or Strickland's level or anything like that, but he's certainly not a low-level player. No. Okay, he didn't get, he, he wasn't to the eight, he was on the two, but same difference. And Tony still had, Tony still had to shoot his balls to get out. Tony's, I think Tony's clearly favored here, but then Tony missed too, right? Yeah. And then, in no, that, no, that was the next game, uh, Tony. Well, okay. Yeah. But in, in nine ball though, if, if Clint runs down to two balls on the table, Unless he just gets lucky as shit and leaves a shit shot. Any player from that point's out, right? Supposed to be, yeah. I'm glad you agree with me. That's one of the few times it'll happen. One of the problems with DSLRs, they only record for 29 minutes and 59 seconds of the clip. Most of them. And there's no way for to reset that? Um, by pressing the button. There, there's, a, there's a couple of them now that will record continuously, but... Say the last part again. You turned away from the mic. I couldn't hear oh, you. Uh, that one of the two of the people that I do see still playing right now. I'm actually very surprised that they are still playing. You talking about that guy down there on the uh, second table? Second from the end? Yeah. Yes. He's he's weird like that. He he bad. might he might have <laughs> a phenomenal play. He ca he cashed one year uh, in like either top 64 or something like that or top 32 in the expo. Yeah, he did. Uh, he got top. Top 64 in the expo. What was it? It might have been 32. I think he did get the top 32 in the expo. <laughs> yeah, some things just don't make sense. No. I mean, he, and I'm not taking anything away from him. He played phenomenally. He, he, it, a lot has to do with the draw. But yeah, I he, mean, it, you know what? It it didn't. <coughs> he he played he played really well th when I saw him play. Oh, tell me uh, up at the expo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now for this for this event, I, I'm not sure what his draw's been like. Oh, me neither. I just always assume. Well, I, I don't really think it matters what his draw is. Is that who he's playing now? Yes. I I highly expect uh, that he he will be sent home after this match. Is that that's on the loser? Right, is is everybody playing on the loser side right now? No. No. Uh, I think is this a winner for me? I don't know. Okay, I know uh, David beat me in the first round yesterday. 
He played he played very very well. And I know he won his ma oh yeah so he won two matches yesterday so this would be the third match. So how many people on the winner side only played two matches yesterday, right? Uh, most I think so yeah. Yeah so this would have to still be a winner side match. Try and get to the brackets and take a look. Talk about the match because I'm looking for the brackets. Well, that was just very surprised that uh, Tony did just overcut that 11 <coughs> ball. I mean, he did have to get the right angle on the 14 to come back easy, but it was very surprising. I don't, I don't see him missing balls like that very often. Now the only trouble Clint might have is the two ball. I can't see if it's frozen or not. Real tight on that. Yeah, they're from where he is now. All he has to do is roll it in, and he has the entire table to play with. Yeah. So it should be all she wrote for this game. Okay. Right. Let's see what the next one is. So far, streams are running alright today. That's because they only have like 12,000 people that are hitting the yeah. same thing. It's probably looking at Facebook trying to say the same thing. Right. Or holding their phones up and just like that. So it has been confirmed the next uh, streaming match is going to be Orcolo and Strickland. That is going to be. That's probably not going to be a very popular match. No, I, I don't understand why people would want to watch that match. bet that Earl beats Orcolo to the loss of temper. Oh, without a doubt. Without a doubt. I'm pretty sure in the, in the warm-ups or game one, he's going to go off on Orcolo about something. Maybe how he wiped down his stick or something. I don't know. Alright, so the, the, the winner side matches... Now some of these have already happened, and it just hasn't been updated. Uh, Blanco v. Curtis, Blackburn v. Aranis. Aranis took that one. That was just streamed. Uh, Rose, Brian Rose versus Sheldon. Miller versus Abraham. Sampson versus Wilburn. Wilkie versus Greenwell. Haas versus Orcolo. We know Orcolo won that one. Strickland versus Molinari. I know Strickland won that one. Um... David. Yeah, I can't. I, I, I wasn't sure about his last name. Zakina, Zakena. Zakana. Versus Wright. They're still playing right beside us here. Uh, Kevin West versus Gary Muhammad. I have to assume Kevin won that one. That'd be a very good assumption. But Gary has been playing very well lately. But uh, Kevin's I, Kevin's in a different league. Matt Craw versus uh, Steve Fleming. That is still going on right now. Is it? Where are they playing at? They were. Oh, that might have just ended. Yeah, I thought I, I thought I saw one of them walk away, but I'm not sure who won that. They, Paul? they, they were playing on table 11. 
Paulo versus uh, Tim Tanana? Uh, I, I, I like Paulo. I mean, Tim's a good player as well. I don't know who won, though. I, 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 stopped, I stopped him. Clint won that one, right? Yes. 2-2? Two, two? Yes. Peek over shoulder, double check. It is. Okay. And then, uh... Paul's match and Tim, they're not playing anymore. Okay. He played, he played Mark yesterday? He, he played Mark this morning. Yeah, he played this morning. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so Mark put him on the side. Okay, yeah. Mark, Mark put him on the loser side. Did, uh... Is the, uh... Kid Delicious versus Adam, does that match over, or is that... I don't see them around. You're on the board. Oh, sorry. I do not see that match being played. Some of them, they, I don't know if they got to the whole first round and or it, not. And it looked like a... McInnes and Stoudemire, where are they at? Okay, so I don't know if. You need some coffee? You need something to drink? You need something to drink. Alright. Ooh, that was an unexpected miss there. While they're doing that, I'll see if I can get these brackets up for you guys, so you can take a look at that stuff. You can go on to the uh, On the Hill Productions page and check it out. This is coming from uh, BudTour.com is what they're doing the brackets through. in this format.
could have made a mistake when Clint was on the eight ball. And, uh, Clint took the lead. Joe went over there. Yeah. And I didn't even notice if that camera caught the last of that match. Was it six one or six two? Six nothing? Six four. Six four. I had nothing to do with this. You don't have to thank me. I mean, I gave him, I gave him emotional support when you were uh, leaving him. Other than that. And I see you're part of the reason why I couldn't broadcast yesterday, because everybody getting on the Wi-Fi. <laughs> well, okay then. Looks like I don't need it. Dick. I mean, when the one o'clock games start, I'm gonna need them. What did you guys uh, make the free open Wi-Fi? Uh, you put a password on it? Not me. No. Uh, not you. So that's a yes. No, I... Dominic No and uh, Rick Miller. Rick is a Rick's a good player from up in Pennsylvania. Yeah, I'm familiar with Rick Miller. to Clint. What do you know about him? He knocked me out in the straight pool tournament. Made it to day two. He does look familiar. He, he's a he's a very good player, but at the same time, he's he has a game that can beat anybody if he's really trying, if he cares. <laughs> So after telling you that, I was going to offer you a game if you wanted to take Rick. If I wanted to. If you wanted to take Rick, I'd give you a, I'd give you a game on the wire. It's a winner side will match. Me, will you give me a game on the front of the wire and the back of the wire? I'm not giving you two games. Clint's a 
Tony's got an op opportunity here. If he uh, if he bears down, Tony's not on top of his game right now. No. And all you have to do, I, I, I don't like trying to come out. I like throwing in between these balls. Well, he's got the three, so. Yeah. Oh, no, I, I thought he was going to try and come back to the middle of the table. I like drawing between it. You have the three, the seven, four, two, five, eight. He might slide over slide ball right now. I don't like sliding. It, it's a stun shot. It's not like you're giving up control. My food just got here. I no, crunch into the mic. People will like to hear that. Uh, I'm going to go get my energy so, so that I can be back for the Ocolio circuit. When uh, I don't know if you were here last night. Uh, I was talking to Mark Jarvis for a long time, and uh, my food came out right before he sat down. I'm like, oh, I'm so freaking hungry. <laughs> I, I had half of a club sandwich early yesterday. That's all I ate. I ate a chicken Caesar wrap at... 10.30 at night, and that's all I ate. I do like the chicken Caesar wraps here, though. Buffalo chicken Caesar wraps. Ooh, wrap. buffalo chicken Caesar. Yeah. I gotta try that later. Yeah, it's good. Alright, go eat. All I'll right. sit here by myself. Okay. Oh, you want to sit here by yourself? I'm pretty sure I can get someone over here. Uh, looking around, it's better off to sit by yourself. These are so comfortable. I'll sell them to you. Setup. I don't even need headphones. You can use them. You can use them with your iPod or I, iPod. iPhone or what you know, say, whatever. What kind of cell phone you have? 2017. No one has an iPod anymore. Actually, iPods are still very popular and they're like two hundred dollars still. Now it's gonna suck. A little bit on the wrong side of that ball, but no big deal to roll to the rail and just stay above the seven. Two, Clint Clayton.
second ball he's got to worry about here is the four ball. And he's got room to make it. Foot position can be tight. He's going to try and move it here. And he kind of screwed himself a little bit. I don't think he can see that six ball. If he can, it's not great. Tony's keeping it interesting here. Blanco, James Ronis, table 13. Benny Blanco, James Ronis, table 13.
good cut shot. That's a real good cut shot. He's got to play good position, but he's got he's got plenty of ways to get out. That's what I mean. Yeah, he's got a little bit of a tough shot. I don't know if that four will go past the ten ball or not. He's either going to back cut this seven in the corner or play the combo. He played it well. Still left himself a little bit of a awkward angle on the seven. It's gonna be tough to get on the four. A lot of traffic to deal with. Ball. And he did it. Still not a great shot. I think he can hold this cue ball and if he if he cuts it to the uh, top corner, he can hold the cue or he can roll forward either one. That's a good match for Clint. Six to three over Tony Long. Thanks to our sponsors, Bank Shots Bar and Grill, Josh Cues, Felipe Custom Cues, and Lights Out Billiards. Stick around for the next match. I'll be starting that up in just a minute. It's going to be Dennis Ricolo versus Earl Strickland. <laughs> 